that I told the actual Mandy Moore a joke when I met her. We were doing a gig with with James in, in, in Colorado and there was a bear outside the gig. The gig was like on, the stage was set up right by a river in the middle of the, the Rockies. It was amazing. It was out in the middle of nowhere and there was, I can't remember, it was a black bear or a brown bear outside. And so everyone from the gig, all the crew, and there was two bands playing and we went there and we were having a look. And um, they were, there was the bears in, in, in up the top of the hill and everyone was like, listen, if they start running, that's the door you go through because they're way quicker than you think. And they, you know, like the thing that, you know, a bear can run up a tree sort of Yeah, thing. yeah, don't even, don't even try to climb a tree. Don't even and, s- and so Mandy Moore was going out with the singer from the other band uh, at the time, a band called Dawes. And um, I was like, this reminds me of, I was standing beside her at the time, and this reminds me of, of a Billy Connolly joke. And the Billy Connolly joke is two lads out on safari and they see a leopard and they freeze. And one of them starts taking off his boots slowly and starts put, putting on putting on runners. And his mate turns around and kind of go, you can't outrun a fucking leopard. He's like, I don't need to outrun the leopard. I just need to outrun you. Never has a funny story that we were asked. We were approached by somebody to write songs for a movie. And uh, I think the movie's called Fishbowl City. Yeah. Because he's a Northern Irish actor. And um, we'd already, I think we had the music for Never, but we didn't have any lyrics for it. Yeah. I'm not sure how far, like it's so long ago, it was 2014. So it was our first single as Columbia Mills. And we wrote two or three songs. Fishbowl City was one as well. The song, the story what, that he gave us, two brothers growing up in Belfast and they'd kind of fallen out. One went one way, one went the other way. And... We could, I could kind of relate to that in a way. If, and then I've obviously got loads of brothers and we kind of, we all have different sort of lives and we've all, you know, so I could kind of could, could relate to that. And that's where the song came from. I just joined the band at that stage. It was 2014. So it was at the very start, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the it first was song the... we'd written as what became uh, Columbia, Columbia Mills. Mills. Yeah, and yeah. it actually came by mistake. I remember I was sitting at home. Remember that gaff I used to live in? On the Putland Hill, the <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I was learning a song in a ch- for all you guitar players out there in a tuning D A D E A E and it sounds like this. <laughs> space in the song lovely space in the song yeah not 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 that same approach of of you know kind of building layers and keeping uh not to say like it doesn't sound big it, it sounds really big but it's with fewer elements and uh there's that like kind of slightly um robotic sound to the vocals to the production the whole way through um and it kind of it, it, it feels like that was sort of nearly like the end of an era song to me speaking of end of an era that was recorded in bow lane studios with lee mulvaney and uh i actually used one of his guitars for that riff on that song and they and they they've recently torn well a couple of years ago they tore it down and put a hotel that song though and going in there and recording with Liam mulvaney in that studio i know you you said paul that it sounds a little like the end of an era but Again, I'd be the opposite. It, it was the beginning of something um, which became Columbia Mills. They, they, I, to me, they've, they still stand the test of time because we still play those, or some of them anyway, that one in particular at gigs. I mean, it's still played and, uh, and it always goes down very well. It's always a part of the set that I that I look forward to. Mm. I'm sure I, I I've contributed to your hearing loss 
by smashing the hell out of the, the drums at the end of that song over the course of the years. Yeah. It just uh, always got big, like it was a bigger and bigger moment. Yeah. Uh, we, we doubled up the guitar solo so you could go off on one a bit more, Paul. It was like, <laughs> we want to give it more. Let's do, play it again. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 one, of, one of my mates always says, more is more. Not less is more, more is more. <laughs> I love the uh, I love the lyrics in the first verse that broken masts meant we were sailing on two separate paths. Yeah, there actually there's a there's a there was a lovely poem that was always in our bathroom, in the in the outside bathroom, the one for number twos. <laughs> uh, the festival toilet. The, let me get it right. One 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 ship sails east, one ship sails west, by the same self wind that blows. It's not the wind, but the set of the sails that governs which where each one goes. Something like that. 